The next item is Cameron biryani, Cameron pickle biryani. Now, the normal uh, uh, use of tamarind is for what we call pulihora. But this time, I'm making a slightly different kind of a dish. This is a rice-based dish. What we're going to do is, the ingredients first, we have cut potatoes, chana dal, udad dal, jeera, mustard, a little bay leaf, cinnamon, and cloves, curry leaves, green chilies, turmeric powder, and the most important ingredient is old, used, and remains of tamarind pickle. Now, we make pickle with green tamarind, which lasts for a year. Very often, after some few months, we don't go back to using it, and it just remains on the shelf. Nice opportunity to recycle this into a delicious dish. Let's have a look at the ingredients once again. There's chana dal, there's urad dal, there's rai, there's jeera, there is <clears throat> turmeric powder, there's just a couple of bay leaves, some cinnamon and some cloves, there's uh, curry leaves, slit, hari mirch, hing, potatoes, I'll come back to the rice at a later point in time, and old tamarind pickle, com uh, commonly known in this area as chintakai pachari. So first, get to oiling the stuff. Some oil. We'll add a little more oil to it. The oil is hot. I've cut potatoes. I'm using the bay leaf, the cloves and the cinnamon. Some jeera. Now on to this, I'm adding potatoes. And a little bit of salt for the purpose of just the amount of potatoes left. I also will add some curry leaves. This will, I'll close it to ensure that the potatoes get cooked. That's the only item in this entire thing that needs to be cooked. Everything else is ready, so let the potatoes cook. Even as the potato is getting cooked, there's one ingredient that I forgot to tell you which adds value to the entire thing, is some groundnuts or peanuts. Now, I'm getting the bagar ready 
so that we don't have to waste time. In the bagar, oil, A tinge of ghee will always help to enhance the taste. Now, the regular ingredients for a bagar, which is chana dal, udad dal. Notice this was not used when the potatoes were being, are getting cooked. Again, a helping of jeera. Dry your mustard seeds. Some curry leaves. The groundnuts. As this is getting done, let's see if the potatoes are done. The best way to check whether potatoes are done or not is to see. It isn't done. You can make out that they haven't turned transparent yet. So wait for a while. potatoes are cooked. Now what I'm doing is I've added a little bit of water to the tamarind pickle that I had. I now add this tamarind pickle to this. The tamarind pickle is added. Mix it. So this mixture now, <coughs> take pre-cooked rice, <coughs> loose it before you put it in. Needless to say, therefore your hands must be clean. Let no lump of rice fall into it. Now mix them. The rice now is completely mixed. Now the tarka that was done earlier goes into this.
the rice is ready, we'll take a small pause and then do the presentation. So I have plated this. This is the cabbage chutney with just a mint on top of it. This is the arbi ka curry. I've added some curry leaves on top. This is the rice, the tamarind rice or the tamarind biryani. It's a biryani because it has cinnamon etc. It's not the typical pulihura and it's uh, dressed with saffron white and green. I don't have to tell you what it signifies. To go with it, I have some banana chips. Thank you and before I sign off, I must today once again thank uh, Datu for uh, not only being Man Friday, arranging everything, getting everything in place and shooting it out and also our friend Samreen who helped in a part of the cooking. Thank you all. Do watch and send us your feedback. Bye-bye.